more business and on to our weekly feature which is the next frontier food security in most parts of the country has become an issue due to climate change that has since disrupted rain patterns making it difficult for farmers to make informed decisions on when to sow their crops hence the perennial food shortage in most parts of kenya however there seems to be a ray of light for these farmers especially in arid and semi-arid regions with the introduction of drip irrigation a system that minimizes on the use of water but maximizes on crop yields ktn's phil kitani with more on this week's edition of The Next Frontier. With the increasing frequency, duration and severity of drought condition across much of the African continent, smallholder farmers are looking for new ways to ensure that they have harvest are secured against unpredictable rains. Despite the dire need for climate adaptation solutions, less than 6% of all cultivated land in Africa is irrigated and almost all farms are dependent on rain-fed agriculture. But by adapting water conservation techniques and growing drought-resistant crops, small farmers in arid and semi-arid regions of eastern Kenya may be showing the way forward. Welcome to Dako Girls Secondary School, a school that caters for orphan girls from poor backgrounds, situated in Makueni County. The founders of Dako Girl found themselves between a rock and a hard place, with close to 200 students and little food available. The school management had to find a lasting solution to the food crisis, which could be cheap and ensures a constant food supply throughout the year. We, we, we want to be self-sustainable in food. So we, we raised the, the farm, we, we dug a bohole, and we started farming in 2014, early 2014. So far, we've enough to feed the girls and the community comes that buys from us. The school settled for the drip irrigation system that when properly designed, maintained and operated can be a production asset for a small farm. Using drip irrigation for profitable vegetable production requires an understanding of several basic engineering and horticultural concepts and their applications. We will buy food from the towns, the vegetables, the maize, the beans, that was a bit difficult for us. Drip irrigation, also known as trickle or micro-irrigation, is an irrigation method that allows precisely controlled application of water and fertilizer by allowing water to drip slowly near the plant roots through a network of valves, pipes, tubing and emitters. It doesn't uh, mean that because you have an acre farm, it's uh, uh, similar to my acre farm. So we'll come down to your farm, uh, t t check on the slope, maybe yours could be sloping my lad could be on uh, maybe flat so we, we we take on all these differences then get to design a kit for you rooted in the hope of helping smallholder farmers improve water conservation and increase crop yields through the manufacture and distribution of small drip irrigation system the drip so irrigation kit is built from a low cost design making it affordable to even the poorest farmers the kit directs water directly to the plant roots and reduces water and crop loss due to poor irrigation. By implementing drip irrigation, smallholder farmers are able to increase the variety of crops on their farms and produce high yields, resulting in greater food security and income opportunities. With the drip irrigation, uh, we have seen a, a very good success of crops. We have seen uh, maize growing with uh, very little consumption of water. We have seen uh, Watermelon selling, we even go up to the weight of 10 kilograms. When properly managed, it is a valuable production technique that may reduce labor and production costs while improving productivity. As water continues to be a scarce natural resource, farmers from arid and semi-arid regions from across the country have no choice but to embrace this kind of technology that maximizes on the use of water and minimizes losses but assures a bumper harvest at the end of the season. Philip Keitang for the next frontier.